Hi there, it's Shell. Clint is, oops, <laughs> Clint had run on an emergency locate, so he ran down to do that, and I told him I was going to make some videos while he was gone. So I wanted to show you guys my washi storage case. This one I picked up at Hobby Lobby, and it just says washi tape storage case. I don't know if you need the UPC code or anything, but there it is if you want to pause it. And then, I forgot, I think it was Robin who asked me to show this. And then it has these little containers in here. And I'm really considering getting another one for our, um, for, what am I thinking? <laughs> For embellishments and stuff you know like different stamps or something because they're all really good you can get your hands in there so if you put stamps or something in there you could kind of go through them and kind of get more organized so I am kind of you know thinking about getting another one this is all my well most of my washi tape minus a roll or two but so yeah uh, mine did come broken which I probably should have, you know, reported it, but it's got a crack right there. But I'll probably just put tape on it and continue to use it. Actually, the other corners broke too. So, if you get one, you might just want to go straight to Hobby Lobby and pick it up. Because, you know, we order it online. And that was a big bummer, but I'll just tape it up and still use it. Um, yeah. So anyways, that is my washi, ta washi tape storage. But I definitely see a couple more of those in my future. So today... This is kind of a play on, sorry, on something that I saw from um, Gail. Gail got Happy Mail. Gail Mail, as she calls it. And this was in there, and I thought, you know, I am going to attempt to make one of those. So I've been kind of playing with that today. And uh, using my last altered card, and I think that was my last one. But anyway, yeah, I need to clean. <laughs> I always need to clean. So, I kind of went through uh, the sizes and stuff. And I will put um, put these the measurements down below for you guys. But the one, it, this is not on the envelope punch board. So, I just wanted to kind of, um, I just kind of made it up. <laughs> after a lot of trial and error and I came up with five and a half or five and a quarter inch square so that's what you're going to use then you're going to go to your punch board okay and I'll show you and it actually turns out to be a really good size for the altered cards so if you you know make uh, ATC cards or something like that and you just want something to pop in then you can do that but I really wanted it to be like the outside come on Sophia but yeah I just wanted um, <clears throat> so my plan was to just make it so it is exactly or really close to the size of this card which is three and a half by two and a half so, I am going to score this at two and a quarter. Okay, so you punch and then you score. And if I remember, I'll put a link to this um, punch board on Amazon so you can find that below. And then you just line up your score right there. You don't do a measurement or anything there. And then you just do that all the way around. So this one should be right at two and a quarter, but it's not that important. You know, you just kind of go with your measurement. And then, there we go. 
and hopefully that will turn out the right size. <laughs> I love this and like I said it was with Gail and her Gail mail, happy mail, and I really am not sure how the lady who sent that to her did it. I was thinking did she use a die for that or you know how did she make it? And I thought, well, maybe I can kind of recreate something using, you know, what I already have at home. Because they have really, I mean, really large dies now that you can buy. And, you know, kind of use to cut out like a whole, you know, like a die that would just cut this out. So, but I kind of wanted to do it. If you were doing it on without a um, envelope punch board, you know, you might could just try to, I don't know, that might be quite a bit more difficult. It's supposed to make it easy for us. <laughs> we'll see. But anyways. <clears throat> okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut down some coffee dye paper. And this is what I like. Because you guys know how I really like to make like secret tuck spots and secret journaling spots. So I am going to, I found some scraps of coffee dye paper. And I just want to make sure it's going to fit in here. You know, and not have like overage. And I'll talk more about that here in a minute. But, <clears throat> so I just went ahead and kind of made, there we go. So when you close it and stuff, it's going to be fine. So now what I'm going to do is just fold this up in here. So you could use whatever piece of, you know, coffee dye paper you had or whatever you want to use. It doesn't have to be this long. And now I'm just making sure that it's going to fold correctly. And, but yeah, it doesn't have to be, you know, this long, but I thought it'd be kind of fun to, to have a long place to write. You can put, you know, secret notes or whatever you want to in there. <clears throat> and then we're just going to glue that down in here. So, again, I am using my art glitter glue. Maybe. You know, I just had that little thing. That thing just disappeared. <laughs> My uh, pen. I don't know where they all go. Probably step on it and find it. Okay, let's see if I can. Okay, there it goes. But I was having so much fun. I actually have the Hallmark Channel on. Uh, while I am kind of playing today since Clint had to go and just kind of seeing how I want this to go it doesn't really matter you just want to make sure you're gonna have you know room for it to fold one thing is when you put it down you just want to double check that it's in there right because I already messed up once <laughs> I was trying to get it like centered and all this and then when I went to close it like on my template it didn't quite fit inside the score lines okay easy peasy I like that very simple you could probably use a glue stick or something if you wanted you could do something really fancy and like sew around it or whatever you wanted to do we're just gonna kind of make maybe one or two that's a little bit well probably just one because we're going to kind of decorate it so now what she did is it was an envelope and it kind of came open all of the pieces and then there was journaling so but I can't I can't remember if this part was included in the long part or not I don't know if you guys saw that video but I thought, you know, I can do that and maybe do something a little bit different. So, now what I'm going to do, let me show you. And we're just going to do this with a pen. So I just took my pen 
And I know I want my little flap to go down inside. So I just put two dots on either side of the flap, kind of where I want it to stop. And then I'm going to take my ruler and just kind of want to make sure it's kind of lined up with those little dots. So it's kind of going to be off, I think, a bit for a straight cut. So I'm just kind of making sure it's kind of straight. And what I'm doing is just I'm kind of lining up this line so that it's straight across so that, you know, it looks nice when it's done. <clears throat> Okay, and now I am going to take my carving knife, because that's what I use kind of as my X-Acto knife. And we are going to just trim along this line. And if you wanted to, you could certainly use a pencil, I think. Right there. And then I'm just going to just put a little cut on either side, just to make my... Um, area just a little bit wider so just you know an eighth of an inch or whatever if it cuts <clears throat> and then if you have little teeny scissors I was thinking I could use those to Hope you guys are doing well. Clint did check on the lady who had that horrible or that accident across the way. Talked to her cop friend who was on scene and he said she was doing pretty good. So that was good to know. It's kind of hard because it's so tiny. <laughs> Uh, Loco the cat, or the goat, he's a goat, uh, seems to be doing really well. Little Bubba is asleep. That is not very clean. It's driving me crazy. Okay, I'm just making sure I'm cutting out the right side. But I want it to be a little bit cleaner than that. But that's him kind of snarkly. He's still on antibiotics, so hopefully he'll, you know, recover quickly. Ah, what a mess. What a mess. Okay, let me see if I can find other scissors that I think would work better than these. These are not working at all. Yeah, so let me see if I can find my other scissors, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I guess I could cover it with, there we go. There we go, that's much better. That other one, I thought they would work pretty well. I know they're not working well for fabric, but I figured they'd work well for paper. But the cats have all settled down and kind of got played out, I think. Clint went to, you know, do that job. And uh, so it's kind of quiet around here. So, of course, I'm going to do my ink around all the edges, inside and out. I just think that will add a nice junk journal, junk journal-y feel. <laughs> But when I saw this, I was thinking, oh, that's perfect. Because you guys know how I love to make, like, secret tuck spots and things. 
and this is just kind of like a deconstructed envelope you certainly can just use you know whatever uh, measurements are on your envelope punch board if that's what you want to do I just wanted a certain size and so I just created it okay you know so I think that you know it's not that hard I did but I can still use those envelopes too the ones that I made because I probably won't be putting like a <clears throat> the um, what am I thinking I won't be putting the altered card on the outside and it's totally not necessary to do that that's just what I wanted to do okay so show you guys so it's going to go like that and then this just going to slide right in that little slot like that so kind of Then I just add a little bit of color to that. Kind of got a little heavy there, so let me just kind of go around. <laughs> you can always cover up a mistake. <clears throat> okay. So now we're just going to decorate this. So just the two sides go in, and then this comes down. Isn't that cute? How fun is that? So you could totally just stop right here. You could decorate it as much or as little as you wanted to. And like I said, I wanted to use this because that's kind of what we're doing right now. And see, it's almost the perfect size for this little um, card. Isn't that cute? I like that. So what I'm going to do is I am going to slide it down to the bottom. And we're going to make a little uh, pocket right here. So... Again, I am using my art glitter glue. And just make it into a pocket. I want to make sure it's at the bottom. Oops. You really want a good glue for this. Um, you know, like your glue stick isn't going to work, I don't think because it's still shiny on that one side so you want to you know do that another thing like I said you could do is open it and then before you put in your in fact we might even try that that'd be kind of fun before you put in your paper sew around it like on the outside you could sew around whatever you wanted to put in there that'd be kind of fun wouldn't it Had a little bit of white showing. But yeah, I think that would be really fun. <clears throat> okay, so now, and it kind of just makes, you know, kind of makes it into a little um, junk journal-y card. Is that a word? <laughs> so, then we're just going to kind of figure out the way we really want it to be and then we'll just kind of decorate it just a little bit you guys know I love collaging and stuff like that so I think we're going to use some greens because the paper is kind of green and just kind of put you know just some bits and bobs as I've heard people say and see what we can come up with so maybe another flower uh, you know, we are still working on the floral journal. I'm not sure when. I am trying to make a lot of videos, especially because it is, you know, sick season and all that good stuff or bad stuff. You know, I want to kind of be ahead of the game. That way, if plant gets sick or I get sick again, <clears throat> you know, we can um, have some videos going up for you guys. So, just kind of play in and see in what I want to add. I don't like to cover up my whole card, but that's something like that's kind of fun. It's 
bring you guys down a little. Okay. Let's go ahead and decorate this one. cute I love that I do like adding the distress ink just because it's like so white okay. this is like a prog horn or something so I wanted this down first this and we'll put this little guy on top of it I think that's how I had it and I'm debating if this little butterfly is too big I think he might be so, let's look for a smaller one. I just feel like he's a little bit too large. We have that one. I think I put some in um, the cute little book that uh, Thing gave me. Sorry, all of a sudden I lost my train of thought, which I do. And, oh, I got this one maybe. But he's going the wrong way. I need this, but like opposite. I know you're in here. Thing that Dee Dee gave me, sorry. <laughs> oh, you guys know how it is. I did find a need up in I could use maybe um I know you're in here but yeah I'm really enjoying kind of get getting ahead and making quite a few videos right now I saw one <laughs> I dropped it There he is. I think that will work. Oh yeah. I like that and it kind of brings in the blue. That's cute. Okay. I think I do want to prop him up just a little bit, pop him. So again, you know, I just take some of my scratch paper. If I have one that I know I have one in here somewhere. There we go. This is just a piece of um, index card that I cut off. So just pop him up a little bit. I just really like that. I think it kind of gives it, you know, a little bit of dimension. Sorry if I wasn't in frame. So close now that it's kind of hard to <laughs> stay in frame. <laughs> and then just put a little bit of glue there. And like I always say, you could use pop dots if you wanted to. I don't mind just using, you know, just little scraps. That I have and I really like how that kind of adds just a little something kind of makes it look kind of cute I love these I'm having so much fun making these so okay so then on the back we can also decorate that and 
you know you could put a butterfly here just as an idea I'll show you guys you could put something like that that'd be kind of cute wouldn't it and then that could just slide like underneath I like that let's do that it doesn't have to be a lot you know to decorate it up so really it's just you know making the main component and then you could always just make several of these just blanks and then put them in your um, in your stash and then you know keep it like that I don't want it to come up too high so what I'm gonna do I think is I want it to be a little bit lifted that way you can kind of look behind it and you can see that there's a slot behind it to put your little guy in your little um, yeah that lip of your envelope so nice right now everybody's asleep I know you guys some of you who love the cats are probably like oh no where are the cats they're sleeping okay so I'm gonna put it let's put it like right there because that's going to go on this part right here along with these parts so let's kind of lift those up just a touch doesn't have to be much I just wanted just a little lift if you don't want that you certainly don't have to you know add that part like you always hear you do you <laughs> so you'll see this on Friday even though it's only Wednesday here um, Friday is my weigh-in day and so as soon as I weigh in you'll probably see weigh in on Sunday or you know whenever I depends on where I'm at I guess but I'll update you guys whoever's interested I know one lady said that she is joining me on Weight Watchers or she was before me I can't remember but she was doing the same thing so that was kind of fun sometimes it's just nice knowing that you know you kind of are doing it with other people okay there we go and then you can kind of pull this down and you can kind of see the slot. There we go. So then that will go right in there. How fun is that? And then you just open it and right, do whatever you need to do. How fun. I like that. I think that's really fun. Thank you to whoever sent those to Gail. <laughs> you inspired me. <laughs> So I know she had like a huge um, group or huge gel mail, so I don't really know who it was. So, but thank you. That's really fun. Okay, so let's go ahead and make one more. Uh, let's use this one. This is one I tried. It didn't work out. It's way too narrow, but I think we can still use it and still have a fun thing. Oh, you know what I forgot? Sorry, guys. See? See what I mean? You could put, I saw one here, a little tag or something in there too. Let's cut it down just a little. It's not straight. It's going to drive me crazy if it's not. So I don't know why I do anything but my paper trimmer. <laughs> I never can get it straight. 
but I think it's kind of fun to do it with the altered playing card. Okay, and then that, I think that's going to be okay, you know, just to kind of have it hanging out a little bit. Maybe one more. Let's see what I have. <clears throat> just something fun. Like this little tag. Yeah, like that. Just to kind of layer it in there. fun I like that what do you guys think let me know in the comments below so that's fun I enjoyed that okay so we're gonna use this one uh, the first thing I'm going to do is you know what I want to show you guys how I think you could put something like on the outside so let's kind of just mess with that real quick sorry my hand is itching but yeah, this is why I tried and it just wasn't the right the right size. It's a little bit too um, narrow. But I'm trying to think. You know, you could cut down your card. Or we could just use something different. Okay, let's do this. That's kind of fun just going to this is just another index card that was pre coffee dyed just kind of eyeballing the size kind of just ripping it down just a little bit off this edge <clears throat> but I thought it'd be kind of fun to show you maybe you know the sewing part or how to do it like with the sewing machine if you didn't want to just glue it or you were concerned that maybe it's not going to hold up. Okay, let's do that. And just kind of add, you know, make a little collage, the bottom part of it. So you're kind of making your base of your collage. You know, I do this uh, first. I put down kind of pieces I want in the bottom. And then I come back and add, you know, some other collaged pieces or collage piece. Yeah, that. So just kind of, you know, get a base going. Maybe some lace. That might be pretty. I wonder where my lace bucket is. Because <laughs> I don't mind putting that down now. Oh, it's right under me. Hold on just one second. Oops. Okay, so what color is that? That's this one. So we have like greens, but we also have like pinks and stuff. That'd be kind of cute. Maybe like this. I like doing things in different colors because I really never know what my next project's going to be or what, you know, one down the line will be. So if I make them in different colors, there's a chance eventually that I'll use it. <laughs> so that is too big. But that's kind of fun. So let's, you know what, let's just fold it. Okay, and my sewing machine's right here. And we are keeping all these pieces because I'm going to show you guys, I think, in tomorrow's video how we are going to use up all these scraps that we have and make something kind of fun. Okay. Turn my sewing machine on. Little boy's asleep, so we'll see if I can do it in piece or not. So what I want to do first is I just want to sew this down. I do have brown in my machine right now. And I'm just going to do a zigzag. And see if I can do it 
without the sewing kitty. heard me, but I think he's going to stay over there and sleep. We'll see. I know, Bubba. Daddy's Bubba. Okay, so I'll come back to that when he's asleep again. Hi, honey. I know. Daddy went bye-bye. He'll be back soon. Uh-oh, here he comes. Hear him snarkily? He's so snarkily. I'm going to have to get him in to see the vet. Hi, Bubba. Daddy's little Bubba is here. Hard. You okay, honey? Oh, poor Bubba's really not doing well. I have to get him some stronger antibiotics. We always have antibiotics for the... Because we have so many animals. So... You okay, Bubba? Not happy Daddy's gone. But he comes by just to make sure he's not in here, I guess, by himself. I don't know. Okay, so I like that. And then what I'm going to do is just sew this on. Probably just using a straight stitch. Little Bubba's kind of... Looks like he's trying to go back to sleep. So let's just see if I can do it really quick. But you want to just kind of keep it open. Like I said, before you add your um, paper. So I'm just going to kind of, you could glue it down. In fact, let's do that. Just put a little bit of glue here in the middle. Because I know I'm not going back over that. So it's not going to gunk up my needle. And it will keep it in in where I need it to be and then we are just going to you know what let's just do a zigzag that's just kind of fun I know honey I didn't worry so much about going back and forth because in the inside this will have glue on it here he comes he's so excited <laughs> The sewing kitty, I tell ya. You could leave it as a pocket if you wanted to, but we're just gonna do the whole thing. Okay. You okay, honey? He's not breathing very good. Need to give him some nose drops or something. Hey, Bubba. I know, you're gonna sit there and play. <laughs> So there we have this. I did put my needle all the way down so that he don't get his little paw in there. But boy, he's enthralled with that. <laughs> okay, and that's all the gluing or the sewing that we're going to do. So, you okay, Bubba? You okay? So, now I'm just going to take some paper. We'll just see. That's actually almost perfect, isn't it? Okay. So let's cut that off. Working around the little stinker ink. Like this one, I don't need all of that. So I'm just going to trim it down a little bit. tell you it's funny but it's good that uh, Jazzy Lynn has kind of um, relaxed a little you know so that she is not what am I thinking right here you know all the time so that's good I'm gonna go ahead and just put my little hole in here so I'm just going to just put a little dot I think it'll be easier like that okay what are you doing? Let me move him, see if I can. 
He is really a lover. Mm. I almost grabbed a uh, <laughs> little ball so I could throw it for him. And, you know, kind of keep him entertained, especially since Clint's not here. So I am just making sure this is going to be about the right size. And then just hold it down. You don't have to keep that part if you don't want to. And then we will. Hopefully it's going to measure out just right. Okay. And I think I want it to be like this. You could probably do it anyway. I just want it to... And I'll explain that here in a minute. Okay, that looks pretty good. I want it to, like when it opens, I want it to be down so that you can ride on it easily. Uh, otherwise it would open like up which would be fine too it's just whatever you prefer but I kind of look at that and see because I think it's just easier and plus this will probably have a little bit of texture or something on it it might not but <clears throat> it might okay so that is this part is too close so what I'm gonna do it's kind of binding up, so I'm just going to trim this just a little bit. You can always make it work. Okay, and then I'm going to take my corner rounder that Miss Lisette sent me. Thank you, Lisette. I love it. I still love it. And hopefully that won't, you know, like bind up. Looks like it still is though, huh? No, maybe not. It's just this paper. It's kind of, kind of having an issue. Okay, then that. And then I think I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Just because it's a little bit long. Hopefully it'll be pretty straight. <laughs> straight. <laughs> You guys, you guys know how it is. Okay, so let's ink it. There it is. The inking kind of covers up the um, white area. Like where you cut your paper and stuff, you know. Did I already do this piece? So I do like to do that. I feel like it kind of gives it a more finished look. Okay. So now we need to cut our spot. And what I'm going to do is, we'll try this again. When I was practicing, this one was perfect. And let's see, I can kind of see my lines a little bit better there so it's more straight maybe okay that looks good and you could definitely use a pencil I don't know if I said that but you could instead of a pen that way you could erase it I just happen to have a pen and then I am just going to it seems to be doing okay and then I'm gonna go up so up that direction hopefully it you know cut in there really nice we'll see seems to be oh 
Okay, there we go. Yeah, not too bad. Little piece kind of hung on there. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> okay, so, uh oh. Michelle, really? You put it in crooked. <laughs> of course I did. Okay, so I'm going to just trim this. Always make it work, guys. I should have checked the sides too, but I didn't. And then this will go in there like that. So I should have remeasured after I kind of trimmed it down, but it's still going to work okay. So I should have moved it up a little bit, but that's okay. So let's see on this one. Let's just finish the front. Maybe we won't put anything on the back. And we'll just kind of, let's see if we have like a pink flower or something. That'd be kind of cute. It's kind of an orange. I know I have pink roses and stuff. That'd be kind of pretty. Kind of pretty. That's kind of big. Butterflies. I see butterflies. So I'm going to grab them while I come up on them because they're so cute. You know what? I could just do something like that. Like this and this. Hmm, that'd be cute. Of course, now I'm thinking about something else I could do. <laughs> you guys know how it is. You're always, always thinking. Okay, I like that. I don't like this so much. But let's see. Still am thinking about pink flowers. Is that the one I just had? I don't know. That's kind of one I, I know I had that one earlier. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> I guess he's just walking by. That's Biddy. Daddy's little Bubba. Okay, it's going to come to me, guys. I promise. Maybe. Maybe something like that. That's what I was thinking. That might be really cute. Okay, let's just do that. And we'll do this. These are some that I, I think I got it from a paper collection. And um, I just put them in, you know, I didn't use them all. So I put them in my little glory box. Put that like there. Make sure that's going in the right direction. And I was thinking like this, you know, we could kind of do that and then maybe... Yeah, like that. That's cute. Okay. We shall do that. Good plan. Okay, so, yeah, like that. Can I decorate? a little. Let's bring you guys back down. I don't even know if you can see that very well. It's kind of hard. Okay. And then I see my Tim Holtz. Is that going to stay? And then we'll put Tim Holtz here, not Tim Holtz, my butterfly here. Isn't that cute? Sometimes, like when you're going, especially using the cardstock things, or you're going, um, 
like glue and overlace or something you just need to hold it just for a little bit with this glue it does get tackier you know as it kind of dries out so it will stick it just needs a little bit of time Tim Holtz words and we'll put some Tim Holtz there too cute okay uh, do we just want one saying yeah let's just do that how about this one and it says own your dreams cute I like it Pop that there. What do you guys think? How cute is that? So it's just like a little piece of art that you can journal in. Isn't that cute? Where's my other one? Here it is. So two different ways. I think they turned out really cute. Again, thank you to whoever created these to begin with. And I think they're absolutely adorable. And I love that you can just open them have some secret writing space and I just love that so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys give this a try come join us over on Facebook at the Ramblin' Crafters with an S and uh, yeah let me know which one you're gonna make or which one you prefer thank you guys so much for watching be sure and hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up it helps out our channel and we will see you guys in the next video see you soon bye